Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So this is another video on pandas hands-on where we'll be learning pandas by solving lead code problems. So let's see which lead code problem we'll be solving today. So it's called department highest salary and in this problem we'll be given two data frames employee and department. Employee would have ID, name, salary, department ID and department would have ID and name. So we need to find a solution uh, to figure out which employees have the highest salary in each department and return the result in any order and result format is in the following example. So here is the employee data frame and uh, department data frame and this is the output. You could see that if two person has the same highest salary from a department, they are not sending only one of them, they are sending both of these. And if a department has only one pe one person with the same high salary, uh, so obviously that person would be returned in the result. Uh, also, I believe from my previous videos, you might uh, have already seen this uh, little thing, which is they are not sending the name of the columns in the way that they are presented in the data frame. So department table name has been sent as department. Employee's name has been sent as employee and salary small letter s has been sent as capital letter s salary okay so i believe we have some tools to do it but we still need to know about few other tools by tool i mean some methods in pandas and before going into my uh, jupyter notebook i'll just copy the pandas schema from here and let's move on to the jupyter notebook as usual first steps uh, import pandas as pd and paste in this uh, the panda schema that we got from the problem statement so what we have here employee and department okay. so uh, <clears throat> since we need to send in the department name as well in the results so there is an obvious indication that we need to join these two data frames or rather merge these two data frames and uh, the columns on which we'll merge would be department ID from employee data frame and ID on the department data frame. So pretty easy. Let's do it. So my left data frame is employee. I'll merge it with a right data frame of department. Uh, we should explicitly write uh, inner because that's what I have been uh, doing in other videos as well and it's a good practice. Uh, our left column on which the merge would happen is department ID and our right column on which the merge would happen is ID. ID. Okay. Uh, let's see how we get this result before moving on to any other steps. Okay, pretty nice I would say. But, but uh, if you have seen my other videos, or whose link I would give, uh, or maybe the playlist link I would just drop in on this corner. So you might already notice that uh, in the earlier videos also, I do not like this uh, default uh, suffixes. So what I would do is instead I would use my own suffixes and I think that's a good practice. So suffixes needs to be sent in a tuple or a list. So earlier I used to send it in a list in my earlier videos. Now let's see if this works. Um, so first would be, uh, EMP so underscore EMP and second would be department which I will shorten it to DEPT you could write DEP but I think DEPT is a bit standard let's see okay we got what we expected so the columns with the same name uh, in the original data frame had got this suffixes which is pretty obvious salary is unique to this particular data frame so it doesn't need any uh, suffix and department ID uh, is unique to this uh, employee data frame so it doesn't need any suffix so I think this pretty much makes the sense so since we have merged it so I would uh, uh, like uh, snapshot this in a variable called emp underscore dpt employee department I think that's a good name I'll just uh, quickly print it out okay so it's pretty much the same thing so what are the things we need here we need to figure out which purse or which row has the highest salary department wise and then return the department name the employee's name and the salary okay first things first since we need to do uh, it in a department wise way so 
uh, you might figure out that there is a grouping that we need to do using department IDs, right? So there is a handy method which is called group by. So group by method, it expects this by uh, keyword argument. By default, it is null, none. So we need to tell it which particular column we want to group by on. So we need to do it on the basis of, you can write either department ID or ID underscore department. I'll just copy and paste it here. I think this is okay. But unfortunately, if I print it out, you won't be seeing anything. It just returns the classes, uh, like the type of it. Uh, so to show it, we need to add few more things. I'll just uh, write another thing, which is, since we now have grouped by this entire, uh, like the joint data frame, I'll insert a cell here so that it's visually, you guys can visually see it. So since uh, by this step, we have grouped, grouped these uh, like entries on the basis of the department IDs. So we would need to figure out which person has the highest salary in that particular group. So imagine if we only had this IT, what we had done is we need to somehow uh, calculate the highest salary. So in my one of my previous videos, we calculated highest scores and we uh, added rank to it. And this is what we are going to do it uh, do it here as well. But in instead of score, it's obviously on salary. So first we have grouped the employee data uh, like employee dpt data frame using the department's id then what we are trying to do is we are trying to grab this salary column and on this salary we would be uh, invoking the rank method so i'll just write method would be dense because uh, in dense what happens is if you have same values for this uh, for your desired column in our case it is salary in my previous example it was score so if you have same values the rank would be same and the immediate next uh, would get a next number so for example by default rank works in an ascending order so the smallest one would get a rank of one and then after it comes this 90,000 90,000 so both of these would get two as rank value and then since we have grouped these two rows um, separately from these three rows because of their different id of the department so this would get a different rank number so this would get one and this would get two but we need to make sure that we get the highest or the uh, first rank should go to the person who has the highest salary and to do it we just need to reverse the way rank behaves uh, while ordering the result so if you remember the keyword argument uh, please think it on your mind. I'll just put up a pause here. And if you thought about ascending to be the keyword argument, then you are correct. So ascending was by default true. And rank would eventually give you uh, this smaller would be one and then it would be two, two if they are similar and then three, four and all, so on and so forth. But we just reversed it. So now what would happen is 90,000, 90,000 would get a rank of one and 70,000 would get a rank of two. However, if I still try to print it, we would get this salary column only because that's what we used, right? But if you see the salary values are not as what we expected. Instead, it is the rank value that we got. So for zeroth uh, call, uh, row for 70,000, as we altered the ascending value from true to false, it made it to be rank two. And then 90,000, 90,000, 1 and 2 became rank 1. And then Henry has a salary of 80,000 and then Sam 60,000. So it became 1 and it became 2. So pretty much what we expected it to do. But, but we have to add this result in this data frame, in our EMP data frame. And how do we add new columns? It's pretty easy. You use the same data frame name. Put your new column name, whatever you want it to be. I want it to be rank. And then I will just append this result, this rank result to this new rank column. So if I do it this way and then try to print EMP DEPT, you would see a rank column got appended here. Okay, so we are closer to our result. What we 
need to do now is select the uh, rows irrespective of whichever department they are the rank value should be one right so we need to select those rows where the rank value should be one so now we are doing a conditional check on rows so if you remember we first use or uh, use this single uh, square brackets and then we put in our um, conditions our condition would be emp departments rank so pandas go grab and the uh, go check the rank value for every row and see if it is equal to uh, one right because there would be some rows uh, where there would be two three and all we are not interested in it we are only interested in the rank value of one so if you find any rows whose rank is equal to one please rent or uh, return it back so if i do it this way and i just go shift enter on my keyboard you see whichever record has the rank of one we got it and this is what the result also uh, was present in the example of deed code so jim and max at 90000 and they were all in the re result both of them were in the result and henry also with 80000 were was in the result okay now that we got this so this is somewhat looks like our result so i'll just save this snapshot into my result vari variable and uh, i'll do further processing on it so from here what we need is we would need um, <clears throat> name of the employee salary of the employee and name of the uh, department okay so if we want to select now columns we would put a square bracket first and then within a list uh, another list we'd send in the column names so first we need name of employees then we need uh, salary and then we need name of department okay so i'll just do a shift enter we got our values but is it the way that the answer expects it i mean obviously it is the the result is correct but if i just show you the lead codes problem statement you would understand they first wanted the output to be department and then employee and then salary but in our case if we switch back to jupiter it is first employee then salary then department so what we need to do to rearrange this column is just cut it from here and put it in front of the other two column. This way pandas automatically rearranges the column. So name department, name employee and salary. But the final thing is these are not the column names. The column names should be as we had seen. So I'll just switch back to lead code. The first column was department second column was employee the third column was salary with a capital s so department employee and salary let's get back to our notebook okay uh, so how do we do it it's pretty easy we've been doing it so far so we would uh, invoke the rename method rename method has a columns keyword argument we would use this columns keyword argument and it requires us a uh, dictionary value so we put in a dictionary and in this dictionary, the key would be the old name, which is name department, and the value would be new name, which is department. And uh, if we just do it for the others as well, name employee is em employee capital, and uh, salary should be renamed as salary with a capital S. Okay, let's make it visually it proper okay so if i do it now yes this is what we need and this is our actual result so again i'll just move over to lead code and do a copy of each of these lines and we would see or execute our result there but before doing so as usual i'll just go over it again uh, so first we did was merging the employee data frame with the department data frame um, we explicitly told it how to do it, which is inner join, and then we also mentioned which column from the left data frame and which column from the right data frame we need to do the merge on. We also did not rely on the default suffixes, we have replaced them with our own. And after doing all this formatting, what we did was this is the key and this is the uh, like core logic of this problem. 
we have been asked to provide highest salary department wise so we have to group by the rows using the department id which you have done so using this now for the salary which has to be highest we have to rely on the rank so rank method is applied on the salary column and uh, the type of rank that we used was dense and we like toggled the ascending flag of uh, which rank provides the default was true we made it false so that uh, the the rank now renders in a descending order meaning that the higher salary would get the lower rank by lower i mean the number uh, numeral one two three four so in this way after we have done all these arrangements we added this entire result uh, into our EMB DPT rank column. This is how we do it to add a new column with the uh, populated values using this entire logic. After doing that, we used a conditional check row wise to see if the rank is one. In any case, whenever there is a rank equals to one, we are saving that snapshot uh, to a result variable. After doing so, we saw that the name of the columns was uh, were not as expected in the uh, problem so we did a rename and then finally we got our answer so i'll move over to lead code and then i'll copy it over from the screen okay so let me just go over to code copy first the merge logic so this is the merging of the two data frames then the adding of the rank column doing a conditional check on the rank column and finally renaming and returning the result let's see if this passes our test cases okay it does i'll just submit it yes it does okay so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and uh, have learned something new and if not, maybe it helped you in revising your concepts. So please uh, do make sure to put in the best practices you do while you code. Uh, if you think uh, I should improve on something, please let me know in the comments. And as usual, if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe it. And also provide your uh, constructive feedback in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to like incorporate all those feedback into my future videos. So with that, I'll sign off. Thanks a lot and happy coding. Bye.